Hey guys, back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about um, some of the crypto coins that are doing well um, you know, in this market that has mostly been pretty bad for the past few months. And I wanted to talk about what they have in common. Um, and fortunately, you know, two of them, I'm going to talk about three mainly, but two of them are some of my larger positions that I've been following for a while. And um, so really the three coins that are on my mind are uh, Terra Luna, ThorChain, and um, Haven Protocol, XHV. So, um, so all three of these coins are focused on decentralization. And I think that's a large part of why they've done well. Part of it is because the current narrative has been decentralization. Obviously, that's because of different um, stories in the world where that's proven to be important. Um, you know, from Canada freezing bank accounts to being able to send and donate um, money to, to Ukraine to Russian oligarchs potentially, um, supposedly, even though, you know, people are saying different things, supposedly they're using Bitcoin to, uh, um, you know, since their other assets are frozen. So that's why I think these three cryptos are doing well. But to take a bigger picture look at it, I wanted to talk about how, um, you know, some narratives are more um, sustainable than others. You know, for example, kind of towards the top of, of, uh, of the market a few months ago was like this big gaming narrative, you know, crypto gaming. But to me that, you know, I, I got caught up a little bit in that, but that wasn't super sustainable, especially considering the uh, the um, fully diluted market caps of those gaming coins. And, you know, only so many gaming coins and projects will, will make it. You know, the vast majority of them are going to die. But in terms of uh, decentralization and in, um, in Haven Protocol's case, um, there's a focus on privacy. These two utilities, these use cases are sustainable and will always be needed. And when you consider the, the market cap of, uh, you know, ThorChain and Haven Protocol in particular, but even Luna and, um, and the UST market cap, the, these narratives and these utilities are sustainable and will be needed, will always be needed. So at that point, the real question is, um, is the, the way that these projects work, is that sustainable? Like, will they break? Will they be exploited? Will um, Terra be able to maintain its peg? So that's one of the questions. And then the other question is, is how will the teams behind them execute? Will they be able to execute and um, fulfill on the promises of the project and of course regulation um, so I've been um, I've been adding to my uh, Haven protocol position I don't really have much of a position in that but that the market cap is really low according to coin market cap it's at a hundred million I want to do more research um, but I'm very bullish on on um, on Haven Protocol simply because it's um, a dis it's it's going to be bringing a decentralized stablecoin similar to Terra, but it's going to have more focus on privacy. And also, Thorchain I believe has announced that they're going to be adding uh, Haven Protocol to their decentralized exchange, so you'll be able to trade between Bitcoin and a decentralized private stablecoin if that comes to fruition. So all three of these projects I'm very bullish on. 
Um, they've all gone up recently, so I'm not like aggressively adding to them. Uh, but, you know, tell me what you guys think. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe. See you next video.